you have to understand that during the course of our show, we were a family for five hours a day, five days a week, really four days a week. And we experienced the same things that we did in our own families. I lost a wife. Jerry Paris, our director, lost a wife. Ron got married. Henry Winkler got married. Anson Williams got married. I got married. So we had life, death, illness, everything, every emotional involvement we had, we experienced. And I think that made what we had to do on stage uh, stronger. We got very much involved in what we were doing. We did a show where they, they decided they were going to change Arnold's, you know, the restaurant. So we did a show where they, they were going to burn it down. And then by the next week, they'd have the new one there. We were not allowed on the set during the show. They had everything covered. And then uh, they burned it while we were all in our dressing rooms. And we were then allowed to get ready to come out and do the next scene, which was walking in and seeing the carnage. And when we walked on that set, I still get goose pimples thing. Uh, there wasn't a, a dry eye in the whole cast. It was like somebody just destroyed a part of our life. And it wasn't Tom Bosley's life, it was Howard Cunningham's life and Richie Cunningham's life. And, and Fonzie and, and Ralph and, and uh, Patsy all of them. It was really devastating. I don't know how many other shows could do something like that and feel it as personally as we did. My wife says that my tombstone will read, here lies Mr. C who used to be Mr. B. So I think that's probably what I'll be remembered. Are you okay with that? Oh, yeah. As long as my kids remember me as dad. What's your, what do you consider your greatest personal achievement? Hmm. Boy, that's, that's a tough one. I don't know whether it's a achievement of uh, professional work or a, an achievement as a father and a husband and a person, a son. I think that I, I would consider it the fact that uh, I've gone through life without uh, hurting too many people. And I've always uh, respected the, the rights and beliefs of other people. And I, I think that's an achievement because I don't really see too much of that today. I think uh, a great achievement was, was raising a, a, a motherless uh, child from the time she was uh, 11 years old until she was, well, fortunately at 14, uh, uh, I found another mother for her. So I got her through that. Um, being a father to my family and my a husband is to me much more important uh, than what I did in the in the business.